morning everybody. I have but one prep advice for the upcoming eclipse. I'm going out to gas up my car this morning. It's Wednesday because I only have a quarter of a tank and I have a feeling that before everybody leaves this area they're gonna gas up before they head back home. You know that right? I mean they might have come from all over. I heard some people are coming from Florida 1500 miles to go to Dallas to watch the total solar eclipse. They've got to gas up before they go back to wherever they come from. So I'm going to go make sure that my gas tank is full, <laughs> even though today is only Wednesday. So uh, I'm off to do that this morning. That's my number one tip for preparing for an eclipse in your area. Be sure you gas up before everybody gets here. In fact, up in Austin area, they, they are out of porta potties <laughs> because all of the parks up there have taken up the porta potties for the influx of people coming. So apparently this is a real thing. So you got to prepare for it. Get real, everybody. Gas up if you're a Texan inside the zone area. It's only going to be 94.2%, but a lot of people are going to be passing through the Houston area on their way back home. Well, I got my gas and on my way out. I decided to stop in at the grocery store and uh, I picked up some cardboard to go in my yard underneath that rubber platform, whatever it's called. My brain's not working fast enough this morning. I'm sorry, guys. So I stopped at the store and I got some cardboard and I picked up, you know, I like the HEB french fries better than the Walmart one, the great value. These are much better. They brown up and they get crispy and the Walmart one didn't do that. So I'm switching back to Hill Country Fair. So I picked that up and I got me some bananas. I started to get a pineapple strawberry and then I remembered I have pineapple in the freezer and I have strawberries in the freezer. So instead I got myself some bananas and some tomatoes. That's why I stopped in actually. I wanted some tomatoes. I only got like three of them. So I got me some bananas and tomatoes and french fries and they have some really, really pretty roast. Yes, I know I bought a, some ham for ham sandwiches, but guys, I'm not used to processed meat. I just had a craving for a ham sandwich. I'm just gonna stick the rest of it in the freezer. And I'm gonna cook myself a roast today. These were $3.97 a pound and uh, $14.65 for ham. And I'm just gonna cook that up. I'd much rather have that than processed meat. But every once in a while, I crave a ham sandwich, you know? So anyway, that's that for this. And I, and I stopped by Vanny's to see if they got Persian Shields in. And she didn't. She did have a trumpet plant. And uh, I will uh, give you a picture of that, but I've decided against him. But he was awfully, awfully pretty. So I'm gonna get these groceries inside. This thing to do is to get that roast on cooking right away. Some garlic powder and some marjoram sprinkled over him and cook him at about 350. I like to cook him on low temperatures for a long time because he is a little bit of a tough roast, a rump roast is. So cooking him slow and long helps to break it up. Well, the grass man cometh and he cut my yard. Doesn't it look pretty? I think so anyway. I'm over here working on the garden beds Sorry if you get a bunch of wind blowing in you. But I've been working on this off and on. Trying to get rid of all the weeds. <laughs> you see I got this whole end done, but I got that end done. I got that little section done. I got three more sections to go, at least. Oh, the mosquitoes are out, so I'm going to have to call it quits. Because there's some really, really bad diseases out there right now being spread by mosquitoes. So there's where I got on that bed. I still got this in to do. And here's where I got on this bed. 
So I'm feeling better about it. The squashes have some place to grow now. And I pulled out two radishes that got left behind. Oh well. I'm going to dig up the smaller cilantro plants. I'm just going to leave these big ones that are going to seed. And I'll get this cleaned up tomorrow evening. You guys have a good evening. Thank you, Lord, for the energy and the strength to get this done and the coolness of the evening. You guys have a good evening. Good night.